So hello everyone. Uh, in this demo, I will show you uh, right slightly restructured uh, workflows on on the backend. So here I'm inside some Git repository, and I have a basic project structure. And what I will do now, I will do uh, Thomas advice will trigger uh, advice on the backend uh, service. This advice is so-called authenticated because uh, I provided token that is used when communicating with uh, uh, TOT services. Uh, I will now unset uh, the token uh, that is called Thamos token. And now when I perform Thamos advice, uh, everything will look the same on the user side. Uh, but there will be changes uh, on the backend. So if we take a look at uh, workflows that are running uh, uh, in our test environment, here you can see workflow that uh, used authenticated request. So we see that uh, there was uh, computed advice and triggered uh, other parts uh, of the system. So there were sent messages, uh, and uh, the request was also synced into uh, our uh, knowledge graph. And the second request uh, corresponds to uh, an authenticated uh, request to service. And this, in this case, just advice uh, is computed. The other parts of workflow are skipped. Uh, this red one was also skipped because uh, the dependency was, was, met, not, was not met. And here you can see, uh, uh, the difference between these two workflows. So in this unauthenticated workflow, uh, we run only uh, parts of the workflow that are required to uh, compute advice to users. So it's just advice, and we, by doing so, we uh, save resources in the cluster, and we do not sync uh, results of advices into our uh, knowledge uh, that are not useful for us. So uh, if we want to uh, advise to users that, uh, for example, integrate with our uh, uh, Kebehead GitHub application, then uh, we trigger uh, authenticated um, uh, advice and we sync, uh, sync results of advice and trigger also other uh, parts of the system. So uh, 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 users are, for example, notified about about uh, results and stuff like that. Uh, that would probably be it. Do you have any questions? Uh, how, how do I get a token? Do I need a token? Uh, so if you want to use token, reach out to Dot. Uh, TOT team, uh, but basically uh, this token is managed by, by TOT team, so uh, it's part of uh, GitHub application or, for example, AICOE CI uh, that is uh, submitting requests to TOT that are authentic uh, in this authenticated mode. Hmm. Is it, oh. uh, can, can we also use it for something like um, customer-specific stuff? So if I have different customers, do I hand out five different tokens and that results A in the capability to write out to our knowledge graph? But is mm. there any other feature that could be authenticated by that token? Yes, that's that's one of the features. So uh, we can differentiate uh, requests that are coming to the system. Okay, okay cool. Uh, any other question? Thank you very much, Frito.